Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016. I will go over how to change your workbook theme, change your cell styles, and also merge and center cells. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that I see here is my Microsoft Excel workbook. I'm going to zoom in on this workbook by holding down the control key on my keyboard and scrolling up on my mouse to zoom in. There we go. Now if I wanted to change the theme in my workbook, I'm going to go right up here to the page layout tab and I look inside the themes group. The themes are a collection of colors, fonts, and effects. Now Microsoft Office has already set up this themes panel which chooses a set of colors that look good together as well as the fonts that go along with them. Now as you hover over each theme you will see the style change in the background and I'm going to choose this theme right here, Wisp. And I click it and there we go. We see that the font style has now changed. If I had more uh, say charts on here or things with different colors you would see those colors change as well. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is basically how to use the fill handle. So I'm going to go to the home tab and we can see that my text right here says April. Now that's in column B. May and June are supposed to be in column C and D. So what a lot of people start to do is they type in May and June. But if I've already got April over here, I could look at the autofill handle right down here in the bottom right. That's signified by this small green box right here. And if I hover over it, I get a black plus sign. That black plus sign, as long as I see it right there, I can click and drag to the right. And it'll automatically populate May, as you can see in the preview, and then June. And then I click, or and then I uh, stop holding the click, or release the mouse rather, and May and June appear right there. All right, so that's how I auto fill that range. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is merge and center. So right here is my title. It says Pro Fit Marietta, and I'm going to merge and center this through column F. What a lot of people do is they try to take this text and cut and paste it into the middle, but as you extend and um, decrease the size of your columns, that would move along with the text. Instead of doing that, I'm going to merge and center. So I'll click and drag from column A in cell 1, so A1, all the way to the F1, which is the range that I want it to go through since my contents end in column F, and then I'll click merge and center. As soon as I click merge and center, you'll notice that B1, C1, D1, E1, and F1 are no longer able to be clicked, and they've all been merged into cell A1, as I can see from the name box right here. All right, so then what I'm going to do is apply a cell style. Now, similar to themes, you'll see the um, cell style changes the way that the cell looks inside of uh, the actual cell that you have selected. So if I wanted to change this to the title cell style, I'll go to the Home tab, the Styles group, and I'm going to click this button right here. It's the More button. Okay, and that'll display my whole gallery right here. And then I can see all of these different styles here. All right, so on this one here, I take a look at it, and I'm going to give this one the title cell style. Now, I can see it right here. Now, again, this title st cell style may look different on your computer if you do not have the WISP theme selected. So right there, I click title, and it gives me a title cell style. This is usually with larger font and specific colors associated, again, to that theme. Now what I'm going to do is merge and center the subtitle. So right here is the subtitle in row 2. So I select A2 through F2, and then I go to the Home tab, the Alignment group, and I click Merge and Center, which is right there. And I click that, and we now see that that has been merged and centered. Now what I'm going to do is apply the Heading 1 cell style here. So again, I go to the Home tab, Styles group, and I click the More button. That'll display all of the different styles here. And I'm going to choose this one right here, Heading 1. Now, as you can see, as I hover over it, it says Heading 1. I click that, and there we go. Now, I'm going to show you how to center uh, column titles. All right, so column titles are in the range B3 through F3 right here. Now, if I want to center them, I can go to the Home tab, Alignment group, and I'll click this button right here, Center. And that'll move it to the center of the cells. So that way, they look nice and in the center and ready to go for all of the content below. All right, so there we go. That is how you basically merge and center your cells, how to change your cell styles themselves, um, and also how to change your page layout theme. So if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have a video request or a comment, please put it in the comment section below and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.